All right, what we're going to do in this tutorial is we are going to learn how to graph an equation by only finding the x-intercept of the equation and the y-intercept. So we're going to figure out at what point does our line cross the x-axis and at what point does our line cross the y-axis. Remember, you really only need two points to form the line on your graph. So we're going to find those two specific points, our x-intercept and our y-intercept. Now, what we should understand about any point on the y-axis is that the x value will always be zero. Let's say, for instance, our point was located right here. We know that the x value is going to be zero and the y value would be two. The coordinates of this point would be zero, one. The coordinates here would be, well, actually right here would be zero, negative one, and so forth. So if you have a point directly on the y-axis, your x value will always be zero. And we are going to use this knowledge to our advantage. Same thing for the x-intercept. Any point directly located on the x-axis will have a y value of zero. For example, this point right here is located at four, zero, and this point is located at five, zero, and so forth. So basically what we need to remember here is for our x-intercept, we have to remember that our y value is going to be zero when trying to figure out what our x is. And when determining the y-intercept, we have to remember that our x value is going to be zero when trying to figure out what our y-intercept is. So let's start by figuring out what our x-intercept is. All we're going to do is simply plug zero in for the y value of our equation. So we are going to rewrite this as 4x minus 3 times 0 is equal to 12. Well, 3 times 0 is 0, so this term right here completely disappears on us, leaving us with 4x equals 12. Now, at this point, this should just be mental math. I'm not going to show every single step algebraically. I can just see at this point that 4 times 3 is equal to 12. So I'm just going to make a statement that x equals 3, which means our x-intercept would be located at the point 3, 0. All right, now let's go ahead and figure out what the y-intercept would be. All right, so when our line crosses the y-axis, we know that the x value is going to be 0. So we just plug 0 in for x. And after we do that, we just simplify our equation by getting rid of the term with the 0. And that leaves us with negative 3y equals 12. Now, we have a negative being multiplied by y being equal to positive 12. And the only way that you can get a positive when multiplying a negative is multiplying a negative by another negative. So y here has to be negative 4. So we are going to say that the y-intercept is located at 0, negative 4. Now all we have to do is plot these two points here. So the x-intercept is located at 3, 0. And the y-intercept is located at 0, negative 4. And once you have plotted your two points, all you need to do is draw a line that runs through those two points. All right, let's go ahead and do another example. All right, now we should recognize that this equation is in slope-intercept form. And when it's in slope-intercept form, it's pretty easy to graph because the very last value here is the y-intercept, positive 2. So we know our line is going to cross right here. So we already have the y-intercept. So we really don't have to solve. But if we wanted to, we could still plug 0 in for x, which would get rid of this term. And right away, it would say y equals 2. But let's go ahead and figure out what our x-intercept is going to be. Now remember, to find where the line crosses the x-axis, what we have to do is plug 0 in for y. So let's go ahead and substitute 0 in for y and rewrite our equation like this. And now what we have to do is isolate the x variable. 
So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this entire term here, negative 3x, and move it to the other side of our equation by writing positive 3x and rewriting our equation as positive 3x is equal to 2. And now what we have to do is divide this side by 3 and this side by 3. And that gives us x equals 2 thirds. So our line is going to cross the x-axis when x is equal to 2 thirds and y equals 0. So that point would be located right here approximately. And now that we have our y-intercept and our x-intercept, we can go ahead and draw a line that is going through those two points. Now, our original equation was already in slope-intercept form, so the y-intercept was already given, so we put that down right away. And the slope was given. In front of our x variable, we have a slope of negative 3, which just means from any point on this line, we could go down that many. We could go down one, two, three units, and then over one, and we wouldn't end up back on our line. So once again, we can go down three, over one, and we're back on our line. All right, let's go ahead and do one more example. All right, let's start by figuring out what our x-intercept is going to be by plugging zero in for y. Now, if we plug zero in for y, we know that zero times negative two is going to be zero. So really what we can do is we can just eliminate this term altogether. It seems like extra writing to plug a zero in there when we know it's going to disappear. And once you get used to the process, you probably are going to end up just doing that anyway. So now we have negative 3x plus 9 equals 0. So what we're going to do is we are going to solve for x and start by moving this positive 9 to the other side of our equation by subtracting 9 from both sides. So now we have negative 3x on the left. And on the right, 0 take away 9 would give us negative 9. And now we divide negative 3 by itself and divide negative 9 by negative 3, which gives us x equals positive 3. So on the x-axis, we just make a point at positive 3. All right, now let's figure out what our y-intercept is going to be. Now for our y-intercept, we know that we are going to substitute x with 0. So we know that negative 3 times 0 is going to be 0. So we can take this entire term here and just eliminate it and rewrite our equation as negative 2y plus 9 equals 0. Now all we have to do is solve for y. So we are going to move this 9 on the other side of our equation by doing the inverse. 9 take away 9, of course, is 0. On the right-hand side, we have negative 9. And on the left-hand side, we have negative 2y. And now we have to divide negative 2 by itself and divide negative 9 by negative 2. And that gives us positive 9 halves, which as a mixed number would be equal to 4.5 or 4.5. So what we have to do is find 4.5 on our y-axis, which would be located approximately right here. And now that we have our two points, we just connect them together to form our straight line. So remember, when figuring out your x-intercept, the y-value will be equal to 0. So you can just plug 0 in for y and solve. And to figure out your y-intercept, you know your x-value will be equal to 0. So you plug 0 in for x to solve 4y. And once you have those two points, you can form a line that represents the equation on your graph. Hey, I just want to say thanks for checking out this math tutorial. Please don't forget to hit that subscription button and activate notifications so you can be informed as I upload new math tutorials that just might help you with your math homework. Until next time, this is Shane Masonette with Masonette Math.